Meet Matt. He is about to start a major project which involves him having to employ two subcontractors to help complete the job. But Matt is a bit confused. He doesn't know what his legal requirements are in terms of superannuation and workers' compensation. Let's help Matt with his dilemma and take a look at both subcontractors. Our first subcontractor is Dave. Dave runs a business called Dave Subcontracting. He has business cards, advertisers and works for many different people. When Dave gets busy, he has two employees on board to help. Dave will invoice Matt at the end of the job for one final price. Matt pays Dave as invoiced and completes an annual taxable payments report for the ATO. Jim, our second contractor, will work for Matt on an hourly rate. He must turn up to work when Matt asks, and at the end of each week, Jim will give Matt an invoice for the hours worked. Matt is seen as Jim's employer under the Superannuation and Workers' Compensation Acts, and therefore must pay these entitlements for Jim. It doesn't matter what agreement Matt and Jim have, or if Jim has his own income protection insurance, Matt must pay superannuation and workers' compensation as well as completing an annual taxable payments report for the ATO. Remember, it's important to find out your legal requirements. We are here to assist you with any questions you may have.